morning. Today is Friday and we are up early. It's only 8.30 in the morning. We're going for a walk. I only have Daniel and Peter. Here they are, ready to go. Kevin took the rest of the kids on a bike ride. His work is having some special event. So they get to eat all kinds of food and they have a big bike ride and then they get to eat more food and they're really excited about all the snacks. So it's looking to be a nice day. We're gonna go for a walk. Hey, Daniel, don't don't lick the table. Don't lick the table. Oh, there's mommy's. I got a large thinking it was going to be much smaller than this, so I guess I got a really big coffee. Watching some workers over there. Building a new building. There's a bunch of guys up on the roof there. Yeah. All right, well, we're back from our walk. It's actually 10.30 now. It took us two hours. I'm in front of my, my beautiful lilacs. I'm gonna be really sad when they, when they, uh, when they die, which will probably be soon because it's really hot. Uh, it's very hot in the sun, but kind of nice in the shade. So we went for a walk. We ended up walking up to McDonald's and I got an iced coffee and uh, Daniel got a yogurt and then our, our neighbors were around. So we stopped and had a visit with our neighbors. We have a very nice couple, an elderly couple that lives down the road from us. So we like to stop there whenever we can. And then it was a very hot walk back. There's no trees between their house and ours. So ooh, it's hot and I don't know what we're gonna do. Maybe go in the house and read some books, or maybe we'll sit out here in the shade, because it's a really nice day if you're in the shade. Um, so, that's about it. Waiting for the big kids to get home from their bike ride. All right, we are sitting here in the living room, and we are going to read this Tonka Tough Trucks. Right, Daniel? Should we read the book? It says, Tough Trucks. Because vehicles race to help people that are in trouble, can't see because his head is in the way. It says, make way, here comes a helicopter, a police car, and an ambulance, and a fire truck. Turn the page. The tractor. He's got a plow. That's a forklift. That's a pickup truck. That's a backhoe. That's his wheel. That's a car transporter truck. Tanker truck. Well, I was hoping to get a lot of cleaning done this morning, but it looks like we're just going to have a an easy, relaxing morning. Still waiting on the big kids to get back. So maybe I can clean when Kevin gets home and Daniel is occupied with with Daddy. We'll see. But I'm telling myself this is more important than cleaning, right? No, don't touch. Don't touch. Nope, don't touch. <laughs> Me. That is you. Okay, spending time with you is more important than cleaning the kitchen. You'll, oh, don't touch. But yes, that is Peter back there, huh? See Peter? Say hi, Peter. Hi, <laughs> He's eating his toy. 
Alright, I'm going to try to make some oatmeal for Peter. So I have this blender cup here. I normally would use old fashioned oats, but we are out. So I'm going to see how my blender will blend this up. You like it? It was a little bit pastier than I thought it would be. But it definitely doesn't have big chunks in it. The... Alright, I am upstairs. I am out of breath because I just had to bring up three loads of laundry. We got a large, a larger washing machine and dryer not too terribly long ago. And I love it, but we got them uh, really big, which means you can wash a lot and dry a lot at the same time. But unfortunately, that also means you have a lot to fold and put away. I should probably have my kids do it, but I don't mind. I'm upstairs by myself, and my kids are all downstairs. Uh, Caleb and Rebecca are working on their school now. Kevin is home. Uh, they're back from their bike ride. Kevin is holding the baby, and the rest of the boys are just playing. So I just thought I'd take a quick peek up here, and I thought I would show you the toy room. If anyone has any really great ideas for how to organize this thing, or something to keep the toys in, I don't really know what to do. So I'm going to show you our toy room now. So here we go. This is the... I'll walk into the door. It's painted lovely colors and has nasty carpet. You can see rips and everything. This is on our list to remodel um, probably this year. That's a door into our attic storage area. And this is pretty much how it looks all the time. Toys are everywhere. The toy box is in the middle of the room because they use it to hide behind when they have gunfights, Nerf gunfights. But it's a nice room. It comes all the way back here. We have shelves in this corner on both sides. They don't really use the shelves though. And then if we come around, I have to dodge the toys. Here is the closet. So there's a few random toys, carpet samples. So it goes back kind of far. And I know I could use this closet better. Obviously it's not being used at all. But I just don't know... I don't know what to do in here. So they ha usually they throw all their big stuff around the outside edges. And all the little cars get tossed into the, the toy box or the these boxes here. They actually taped the boxes together and made a train. But the toy room pretty much always looks like this. And I normally don't care because I'm upstairs. If you have any wonderful ideas, link them below if you have any storage solutions that actually work. My kids don't use shelves. Those shelves with the cubbies in them, with the baskets, they don't use those at all. And we used to have a set of small shelves that had buckets on them, but all they did was dump the buckets. The buckets, buckets were always empty and they would build with the buckets. And it really it defeated the purpose. So I need something, I don't know. I don't know if I just need a row of boxes or a row of toy boxes or what, but you can see they don't really use shelves, so shelves isn't working. So I don't think a bookcase would actually work. So I really don't know what to do, but if you have a good idea or wanna show me a picture or show me, tell me what you do, comment below. I'd love for extra solutions. So I decided I would show you into our attic area here. This is really cool because some of our toy solution is actually in here. Prop the door open. So this is our attic storage area. So one thing we did to try and keep the mess out of the toy room was these uh, buckets here. So we've got train tracks, we've got a different kind of, I think VTEC toys, there's uh, blocks, there's Joshua's big crane, this other bucket has, there's the wooden train tracks, and then oh, there's a marble track down there, and I think over here we have some magnet blocks and a different kind of track. If they clean the toy room, they can get one of these sets out, and then we put it away when they're done. Which works to keep all of these pieces together, but well, you saw what the rest of the toy room looked like, so I'm not sure what to do. List of the two boys. There are many pretty pictures in the room. Which do you think is the prettiest? This is a good apple, but that one's better. But that one is better. 
Rebecca's doing English while I'm finishing laundry. You took... Eternity. What'd you say? Eternity. Next. Yeah. Gnawing. What? Gnawing. The squirrel is gnawing on a nut. Look at Peter trying to get that magazine. He was sitting right in that bumbo chair and he was rolled around and kicked around and I don't know what. Somehow he got way over there and he got that magazine. He's also got a jump rope around his arm. It is hot out and look, I got my sandals on. Yay. I'm happy it's summer. Caleb's mowing the lawn with his very own riding lawnmower. It's a beautiful tree. I keep saying that, but I really love it. <laughs> Look at my iris plant. There are going to be so many blooms. So many flowers on here. There's that one, and then we have another one. This one over here is actually taller. And then this is the peonies, and they are getting close to opening. This one is like a real pretty pinkish. Making peony baby food. Are you making peony baby food? Yeah. Unless you want to eat green beans. Again. <laughs> I wanted to talk today about how I save money on baby food. <sighs> yes, I know, there's Daniel. We are still sitting outside just enjoying the cool breeze. Daniel is back there mowing the lawn. Caleb just mowed. And uh, he loves the lawnmower and the vacuum, but he does not like when they're actually running. So he's actually really scared when Caleb has the mower going, which is really kind of cute, uh, but also really annoying because he is very clingy whenever a mower is running. Um, I'm gonna wash them and then you can cut them if you want to slice them for me. You can cut them? We're gonna make something. Right. Oh, this is what I have here. Cut off the stalks. Oh, okay, I'll let you have a knife in a minute. Cut off the stalks. There's my leaves. Boys, go take these leaves to the garden. Can you grab them and throw them in the garden? Give Daniel one. They're all big. Alright, hold on. Let's find a good spot. Let's just throw them right here. It doesn't look like anything's planted there. Just throw them there. We are cutting rhubarb. Just be careful of your fingers, Daniel. I'm not worried about you, Matthew. Yep, throw it in the cup. What are you making? You need to turn that computer off now. Good. We're making strawberry rhubarb crisp. For me? I have to make sure we save some for daddy. For me? For everybody. For me. Thanks for buying it. Do you have the pizza started yet? What are you making? Strawberry rhubarb That show is really crisp. good, Mom. Strawberry Mom. rhubarb crisp, Mom.
Bye bye everybody. Alright, we made tortilla pizza. It's one of our favorite things. It's a hot day, I don't know why I chose to make something on with an oven, but I did. Here's our strawberry rhubarb crisps waiting for the oven. Peter was crabby, so Becca walked him around the, the stroller and or, yeah, walked around the yard in the stroller and he fell asleep like this. I kind of want to move him, but I'm scared he's going to wake up. I am going to get him out of the sun, though. There, I was able to turn the... I was able to turn the... or push the stroller back. So. Daniel's weed whacking. He wanted to feed Peter tonight. <laughs> Daniel, back up. These are fresh green beans we made today. What do you think, Peter? He wants more on the spoon. Get him some more. I don't think he's going to this He will. So Caleb decided to make a bazooka. Turn to the side so I can see. What is it? What is it? Tell me what it is. No. What'd you make it out of? PVC pipe. Here's our strawberry rhubarb crisp, and we're gonna put some ready whip on it and have dessert. And that is the end of our our day. It's 7:30. We're gonna have dessert and probably take some baths and get ready for bed. So that's all. Say goodbye, boys. Say see you later. Yeah, there's the messy kitchen behind. Say see you later. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. It was kind of a long day. And I was just sitting here realizing that I didn't read the Bible, so I decided I would get my Bible out and go ahead and read it now. It's almost 11 o'clock, but I'm just sitting here reading uh, Proverbs chapter 17. And there's a few verses that stuck out to me. The first one is 17, 17. It says, A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Man, I know that scripture is definitely true. But verse 22 says, A merry heart doeth good like a, like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. And then verse 28 says, Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise, and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. So, maybe that's a little wisdom for you. Have a merry heart and keep your mouth shut. Good night.